the Avis Cup Series is back and better than ever. Today, I'm going to show you the drivers and what number they are. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we have Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, who this year will field three cars. First off in the Menard Chevrolet, we have Ralph Green, who moves from the 27, which was unsponsored, to uh, the 15, who now is sponsored by Menards, and he will also be sponsored by Peak, uh, Quaker State, and a few other sponsors. Next, we have Sean Galligan, who will return from last season, now driving the number 8 Budweiser Chevrolet. Galligan finished second in points while driving for Jack Roush. Now he hopes he can do even better with Chevy horsepower. And last, Evan Earnhardt moves from the 02 to the 1. He wanted to be teammates with Sean Galligan and he got his wish in the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. All three drivers have uh, some driving experience from last year. And uh, they all hope they can work together and win the championship. Up next we have Penske Racing, who this year will only be fielding two cars. We got in the, in the Blue Deuce, Mike Kelly. Er, his name is Kurt Gibson, but he was previously Mike Kelly. And, uh... Behind him will be CJ Sorensen, now driving the 12 Altel Dodge. These two are both Penske Dodges, they're both blue, and they're both ready to win the championship. Up next is Henry Motorsports. They will be bringing back three top-notch drivers, and include one new rookie. That rookie is Tim Froelich in 25. National Guard Chevrolet. Behind him, making his return, is Elijah Koufax moving to his dream ride in the 48. Behind him, you got Greg Brown, who is moving away from the What Can Brown Do For You Ford, and he will now join Hendrick Motorsports driving the Kellogg's Car Quest Cheese It Chevrolet. And last but certainly not least, Carter Keslowski will get his dream ride in the 24 car. Everyone has experience here except for Tim Froelich. Let's see if Hendrick Motorsports can put together a championship. Up next we have Roush Fenray Racing who will keep the champion but have a lot of new drivers. Starting first, right here, is Sean Henley who unfortunately will not be driving the Viagra Ford, he'll be driving the Triple A Ford. Starting alongside, or uh, next to him we have Danny Wells, who is a rookie this year, driving the DeWalt Ford. Then we have the champion, Matt Edwards, who will go from the 16, who is currently leading this pack, to the 99. And then we have Nick Knotts, who moves from the 30 to the champion winning car, the 16, they are sure hope they can work together and bring home a championship. And I'm not sure if I mentioned Luke Martin or not, but he is, <laughs> he loves Evan Earnhardt, and uh, he's excited, he's driving, he's always liked the 
Ford. She's driving a Ford. She's driving his fav most favorite paint scheme of all time. And he's working with some great people, so let's see if he can bring home a championship. Up next is Jin Racing, a uh, new team, or not a new team, but I guess a team with a new name. The first car, who probably will be the lead dog, is John Stewart, who just slaps a zero arc to his one car from last year, becomes a zero one U.S. Army Chevrolet, um, and followed. Er, and then behind him is Levi Shones in the 14 Waste Management Chevrolet. Um, Levi is a rookie this year. Jarvis Stewart, of course, is returning after finishing in the top 10 points. Maybe one of them can win the championship. Up next, we have Richard Childress Racing, who has three very strong Chevrolets. First, Jamie Smith will be returning to the 29 Shell Pennzoil Chevrolet this time instead of the Goodwrench Chevrolet. He will also have assisted sponsorship from Reese's. Behind him is new member Zach Carlson driving the singular wireless Chevrolet. He uh, hopes to have a very great season this year as uh, Thomas Shane previously drove the 31 did. He had a decent season. And behind him is another newcomer, Andrew Petty, not to be confused with Alex Petty. He will be driving the Jack Daniel Chevrolet for the COYs, and for the COTs he will be driving the Direct TV Chevrolet. So maybe uh, these guys can help each other win a championship. Jamie Smith, I think, would be considered the league dog, considering he has some previous Able Cup Series experience. But anyway, let's see if they can do anything. Up next is Joe Gibbs Racing, who doesn't have to worry about having any rookies. They have three veteran drivers. First up in the 11, at the last minute was Clive Burr, who will be driving the FedEx uh, Chevy, not Toyota, Chevy. And then we have Garrett Jones, who was Mikey Jones. Had a very good season last year, fell off a little bit in the chase, but overall had a good season. He will switch to the 20 car. And then behind him we have John Dillon in the 18. Last year he drove the 7, had a very bad season. This year he hopes to turn around. Uh, he's got some Chevy horsepower in the Interstate Batteries Chevy. So maybe one of these three can pull off a championship. Now we head to perhaps one of the greatest teams of all time, Yates Racing and their powerful Ford engines. Up first, the winner of the Budweiser shootout, Corey Long, in the Snickers Ford, hopes to continue his success and possibly win a championship. And diving now for the lead is Jack Richards, who moves from the 10 to the 38 M&M's Ford. This is the Team Candy, as some people call it. And, um... Yeah, they hope to have a great season. No, no worry about any rookies here. Uh, a two-car team should keep things nice and simple. And uh, maybe one of them can win the championship. Up next, we have Chip Ganassi Racing in only two cars. The first car, the Coors Light Dodge, will be driven by Jacob Baller. And behind him is the pink 41 of Ricky Hall. Hawk wanted to drive the pink car for COY, but for the COT he will be driving the red target dodge. Should be a great uh, season for these two. Ganassi's a proven team. Let's see what they can do. Now we have Michael Baltrip racing, who uh, brings back two drivers and has one new rookie. And they also have Toyotas, which is a first here in the Avis Cup Series. First is Kenny Murray, who was Donald Murray, but now I guess his name is Kenny. Um, he'll be driving the Domino's slash Burger King Toyota. Then we have Bob Fergus in the Napa Toyota. Uh, he's the head honcho, I guess, well, in 07, but I'm going to say that Jeffrey Howe and the 44 might be the head honcho, or maybe Kenny Murray, I bet they'll both be up there. But, um, yeah, he'll cut his 88 in half, or UPS cut their 88 in half, got 44, 
And now Jeffrey has to take over the UPS duties. <laughs> anyway, maybe one of them can win the championship. Up next we have uh, CNC Racing. Kind of an underfunded team a little bit, but they seem to have some solid sponsorship. In the 70, will Stefan Papias will return. After losing his dream ride in the 20, he decided on the 70 because he said he liked the paint scheme, so he has some sponsorship from Yellow Transportation, as well as Atlas Topco, and Haas. Behind him, Bob Marshall, rookie this year, has some sponsorship from Best Buy and Haas. He'll be driving the 66 Chevrolet. Um, small team, definitely an underdog. Maybe one of them can uh, have a Cinderella story. Now we have Team Red Bull, who has a new driver right here in the 83 Toyota. That will be Nick Bradford. Um, and then right behind him we have the 84 of none other than Jeremy Tacos. Returns to the Red Bull machine. I wonder how Red Bull and Tacos taste together. It'll be in an interesting debate, but we won't talk about it now. Maybe one of them can win the championship. It's a new team, it's Toyota, uh, going into some untested waters. So, uh, let's see what happens. Then we have Cade Stewart and Randy Carpenter. Cade Stewart in the 22 Caterpillar Toyota and uh, Randy Carpenter in the 360 uh, OTC Toyota for Bill Davis Racing. Um, yeah, so maybe one of them can pull an upset and win the championship. Alright, here we are. These are the cars or drivers that either don't have any teammates active or who drive for one car teams. Up first we have the 96 DLP Chevy of Barney Ward, um, followed by Theo Stiegel in the Jim Beam Ford. Then Alex Petty who will return. He will drive the Air Force slash Little Debbie Ford. Um, the 96 is a Chevy, by the way, but I think I said that. Then we have Josiah Kopp, who does not have the 45 car active, so he will be a loner. He will return to the 43 Cheerios Dodge. Um, yep, and then we have Matthew McMurray, who drive for Furniture Row Racing in the Furniture Row Chevrolet. Um, he has a technical alliance with RCR, but nonetheless, he is a only car He's the only car on the team. Then we have Mark Edwards, who does not have his teammates, the 9 and the 19 active, which I was very surprised by. And he's sponsored by Zavalin and Stanley Tools. And last but not least, we have James Taylor in the State Water Heaters Chevrolet. So, there you go. Uh, these are all the guys without any teammates. Maybe one of them can pull off the huge upset and win the championship. So there you have it, the Avis Cup Series Season 2 roster. Who will win the championship? That's anybody's guess. But I'm sure they'll have a whole lot of fun getting there. So, we'll see you for the Daytona 500.